Welcome to a new what I eat in a day and excuse the horrible lighting. It's that time of the year when it's really dark in the morning and evening. But anyway, this morning I had seal cut oats and I always soak them overnight for easier digestion and then I just cook them in the morning. And by the way, I already added salt when I was soaking them and then I topped the oats with cinnamon and frozen blueberries. And you can't forget about the hemp seeds. I also had pea milk with the oats. You know what? When I'm looking at this, I realized that I didn't film a banana, but I'm pretty sure I also had a banana. For lunch, I made a falafel bowl, so I first added leftover quinoa. By the way, my nose is kind of stuffed, so if I sound weird when I'm talking, you know why. And then I fried some frozen falafels in avocado oil. I usually don't eat ready-made food, but these falafels come in handy when I don't feel like cooking. And I don't think they contained any additives, so yeah. In terms of vegetables, vegetables, I had uh, grated carrots and steamed broccoli. And you know, it really is fine to have store-bought food sometimes, but you can add vegetables and other healthy stuff to eat with it to make it more nutritious. As you could see, I also added avocado. For my snack, I had my healthy apple oat cookies and they contain beans, so they are higher in protein and the recipe link is in the description box. For dinner, I made a lentil filling to put in a pita bread. I just freestyle it though, so I don't really have any measurements, but approximately I used uh, half a red onion and some garlic cloves and fried them. Then I added maybe about two tablespoons of tomato paste, one grated carrot. You can add a splash of water if you need to. Then I seasoned it with dried oregano, dried basil, paprika, salt, and pepper. And I let that cook for a while before adding one can of lentils. I used green lentils. Then I decided it needed more tomato paste, so I added that and I also added extra water to make it a bit more saucy. And lastly, I added two teaspoons of soy sauce. And then you just want to let it cook for a few minutes to combine the flavors and then of course you can taste it and see if you need to season it more. To my plate, I added a whole wheat pita bread and I also added cucumber for some crunch. I would probably have added lettuce and bell pepper as well, but I didn't have any at home. I also added the lentil filling, of course, and half of an avocado. Obviously, I wasn't able to fill the pita with everything. I ate a lot of it on the side and filled it with as much that fit. After dinner, I wanted something sweet, so I had frozen mango, surprise, surprise, and that's all I ate this day. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video because it really helps me out and subscribe so you won't miss my next one.